This is 6035 Live Oak Place in the Spring Creek Oak Subdivision. It's listed, it's been listed for six days at 329.9. It was built in 1987. It's 3,317 square feet on a 12,160 square foot lot. Let's go on in. Flagstone as you enter. As you enter the home, you've got tile floors here. Your staircase. What could be an office or a formal sitting area, they're using it as an office. There is a step down. This room goes through. We'll go through there in just a minute. Got wood floors in here. It looks like they put wood up on the wall here. The mirror. Step down here and a step down there. Formal dining room area, which is a good size. They've got a lot of furniture in here. The blue, bluish color on the wall here. Crown molding. Windows towards the front. Wood floors in here. Let's go on into the living room. I believe this is a closet. Yes. Packed full. So there's a step down into the living room. Good sized living room. It looks like they painted the wood paneled walls a light blue color. This goes into the kitchen. Tile floor in here. Your cooktop is electric. In the center island here. You do have a double oven. And they've painted these cabinets. It looks like a charcoal color no built-in microwave so they've got the microwave here on the countertop breakfast area there is a fridge so we could always ask for that nice big window there's the granite Stainless steel dishwasher, lots of cabinet space here on the island. This face is the neighbor's house here. So this goes into your formal dining room area. Your pantry is here. Utility room just off the kitchen and formal dining room area with cabinets and a space for a refrigerator. Tile in here. So we could ask for the washer and dryer. Tall ceilings in here with a window. Got a bar here, wood floor, wired for surround speakers, wood floors in here. This goes through to that office that we walked through. There's a door to the office, so no door to the entry, but a back door here. You've got your half bath here. They framed the mirror and put wood on that back wall. 
I've also antiqued the cabinets in here. No granite, but they did update the faucet. Tile floor in here. Then you go into your master, which is just behind the living room. You've got a big mounted TV there. Carpet looks okay. Couple of little stains. And then they've got this area here, which they're using for an exercise space, obviously. But you could put a little couch over there, make it a little reading nook. This looks like a king size bed in here. And then this glass door that leads to the master bath. I'm having a hard time finding the right lights around here. So in here we've got double sinks. Kind of a dark color on the wall, on the uh, doors. The tub is a little shorter than most but it is a jetted tub. Commode here. Closet, good size. Tile floor in here, the wood tile. And then your other closet over here, which is a good size. Some shelving back there. Take a look at the shower. So they've updated this shower here with the wood tile and a rain shower head. Let's go into the backyard, see what that looks like. Triple locks on this door. Got an iron gate here. Nice deck. The hot tub. And a fire pit. Good size yard. It's not deep, but it's long. We do have the single paned windows on this house. The yard goes over here as well. And that's TC Jester. I can hear very slightly. Great size yard though. Definitely put a pool in. Then flagstone here. Lots of stuff that they still have to move. That's for sure. Not finished. Uh, dry, not drywalled out. It does have a motor. Could use to be power washed there on the, the side of the house on the brick. Has a storm door as well. Lock this back up. And take a look upstairs. Up 
So as you get up the stairs, they've done wood floors upstairs as well. A landing here, take your view. Great size game room with some built-ins and a ceiling fan. Nice neutral colors. This goes into a bedroom. Dark colors in here, you might wanna change that out. This goes into a bathroom. It did carpet here. This could be changed out to granite. Bathtub, shower, and commode here. Built-ins in here. Trying to open this door. And it is, it is stuck. Really stuck. I cannot get this door for the life of me. Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. Closet here. Back out into this bedroom. In the game room can see the view of what's behind you there. We've got a kitty litter box in here and there's a cat somewhere. This is a huge closet, huge game room closet. Hope that cat does not come popping out at me. Wow, what a huge closet area. Let's go through here and try and open that door I was trying to open. Looks like the paint is really kind of janky. So they, they just stopped and didn't want to touch the ceiling. So they missed a lot of spots up at the top there. So here's the other bedroom, faces the front of the house, it's got built-ins in here, carpet looks like it needs to possibly be stretched, a few stains, and this is the other part of the bathroom that I was trying to get through, and that's why it didn't open, because there's a lock at the top. So how much you want to bet this brother and sister do not want to be bothered by each other. So this is, this is why it wouldn't open. If we open that up, it goes through to that other bathroom we were just in. I better make sure I lock it back or they're going to be fighting. And you've got a closet in here as well. Nice size bedroom over here. They've done a neutral color in here. Built in desk, which is great. Closet, good size. size bedroom. May may want to ask for new carpet. And I'm about to sneeze. I'm allergic to cats. Now this is cool. This has got a skylight in this bathroom. They did do granite in here. Updated the lighting. Granite. 
tile floor. And they tiled this shower up. So this is what you would probably want to do with the other bathrooms. That adds, adds value. And then there's your skylight there. So this is 6035 Live Oak Place listed for $329.9.